Okay, so these specialized units, they send people in. We've got the people setting up user accounts. We've got the people setting up command posts. We've got the people who are training all of the people responding to the information. There's a nice battle-tested system that they've got going on. It's rigorous to be able to adapt to a changing situation, but it also allows for enough self-awareness to catch mistakes. And after watching all that footage, like I'm almost a fangirl of Tony Slocum and Sergeant Riley. Like they're, I find them to be very genuine men who by all accounts from what they were seeing, they were walking into a headquarters every day where they were being thorough. So for Liggett to come back five years later and say, actually we weren't thorough. I think we need to make the distinction on who he's referring to because everybody else was thorough. They were doing what they were supposed to do, but there's a small group of people who were either deleting, recording over, if you want to give them the most generous interpretation, let's say they f***ed it up and didn't know how to record a custodial interview and how to log it. I don't know why we should give those people guns if they can't handle an audio recording. I think that's a little scary, but that's what I'm talking about. The implications of what Ligon is saying, we shouldn't even let these people run around with scissors and we're giving them guns and badges. I don't think that's the argument he wants to go with. I don't know why that's the one Nick McClellan is going to try to double down on, but I guess let's go then.